In this video, we will demonstrate how Cisco's SD1 and vManage solution are integrated with Zscaler Internet Access ZIA to simplify your SD1 transformation to the cloud and protect your users and applications everywhere. First, let's see how Cisco SD1 with vManage can automatically provision fully redundant IPsec tunnels to the nearest Zscaler public service edge in the Zscaler cloud. In this case, for each of the Internet Service Providers (ISPs), a pair of primary and secondary tunnels are automatically configured. This is vManage. It is used to automate the deployment, configuration and management of Cisco SD-1 environments. vManage enables this by leveraging templating that can be applied to devices based on your own designated role or grouping. We will need to create three different templates in order to enable the IPsec automation with ZIA and Cisco SD-1. Let's navigate to the template configuration page located in the drop-down menu under configuration and templates. Then select the feature button at the top of the screen to configure the templates required to enable traffic direction into the Zscaler Zero Trust Exchange. Choose add template. Here, we'll select the device models that this template will be configured for. For this demo, we are looking for device ISR4221. Scroll down and click on the Cisco SIG credentials option from the choices on the right of the screen. First, create a template name, which we'll utilize to apply the template in some later steps. For this demo, we will call the template CEDGE underscore CREDS underscore ZS underscore SIG and then give it a description. Next, select Zscaler as the SIG provider and input your Zscaler subscription account credentials, including your partner key. Your partner key and base URL is available in your ZIA admin console. Click save and our device template is done. Now we must configure the Secure Internet Gateway, or SIG template, used to configure the IPsec tunnels, Layer 7 health checks, and ZIA gateway options. Click Add Template once again, and search for the same device we used previously. Once that's been selected, click Cisco Secure Internet Gateway. Click in the Template Name field and create a name. For this demo, we will call the SIG CEDGE underscore ZS underscore SIG. Next, give the template a description, which can be as simple as the template name as we have done here. Next, we set the tracker probing source by clicking on the global icon next to source IP address. Select device specific and enter VPN underscore tracker script. Next, choose Zscaler as the SIG provider and then click add tunnel to configure the IPsec tunnel parameters. For this template, we'll be configuring two tunnels, one active and one backup. Cisco supports configuring up to four of each. Enter an interface name, a description, and then click the global icon next to data center. Click device specific and enter PRI underscore DC underscore TUN1 underscore INT. Now we will repeat the same steps we just did for the primary tunnel for the secondary tunnel, entering an interface name, a description, and a tunnel source interface key. As this is the secondary or backup interface, be sure to click Secondary, then Add. Next, under High Availability, assign your primary and secondary interfaces that we just created. Scroll down to Advanced Settings where we will set the gateway options that will be used for this template, including enabling the Acceptable Use Policy or AUP and then click Save. The final feature template needed to enable ZIA traffic forwarding is a Cisco VPN template. We need to configure a service route so that internet destined traffic will be sent to the previously configured tunnels. Click Add Template once again and select the same device as before, then select the Cisco VPN option. Dismiss the ECMP error message that appears and then create a template name, which we'll call CEDGE underscore VPN1 underscore SIG and also use that as our description. 
In the Basic Configuration section, enter 1 in the VPN field. Click on Service Route to jump to the Service Route Configuration section and then click New Service Route. In the Prefix field, enter 0.0.0.0 backslash 0 and then click Add. Finally, click Save. With the feature templates configured, we need to apply them to device templates so that vManage can push the configuration to the devices deployed. Select the Device button at the top of the template configuration screen and then choose the device template we want to receive the ZIA SIG configuration. In this case, it's the ISR4221 device template we just created. Click on the ellipsis icon on the far right and select Edit to bring up the device template screen. Here, we will assign the SIG Service VP and SIG Credentials templates we just created. Scroll down to Transport and Management and click Cisco Secure Internet Gateway on the right. Then, under the new Cisco Secure Internet Gateway widget, select the template we previously created. Next, scroll down to Service VPN, click Add VPN, and then select CEDGE underscore VPN1 underscore SIG. Click the right arrow button and click Next. Click the plus icon next to Cisco VPN Interface Ethernet and then select the CEDGE underscore VPN1 underscore interface template we previously created and click Add. Scroll down to Additional Templates, click the drop down box next to Cisco SIG credentials and select the CEDGE underscore CREDS underscore ZS underscore SIG template we previously created. Finally, click Update. The final portion of the workflow is to configure the device specific variables. Review the new configuration changes and apply it to the devices. Click the ellipsis button on the far right of the screen and click Edit Device Template. Here, we'll update the necessary device variables, including the device password for vManage, to be able to authenticate to the device, the interface name, the primary and secondary tunnels will be created on, and the source IP address. Click Update and finally click Next. Click on the ISR4221 template on the left side of the screen. vManage will then load a preview of the configuration file. Click the Config Diff option at the top to see a version with all of the changes and additions from the current configuration highlighted for your review. After reviewing the configuration file, click Configure Devices. vManage then applies the configuration to the Cisco SD1 device. This will take a few seconds and you will see the status move from Scheduled to In Progress to Success. Now that the configurations have been applied, we will validate that the IPSEC tunnels are up and running. In the Cisco vManage menu, select Monitor and then Network. Next, click ISR4221 and then click Interface. In the bottom half of the screen below the chart, click Interface Name and select the Tunnel 101 and 201 interfaces while deselecting all other interfaces. Scroll back up to the chart and click Real Time on the left side. You will begin to see traffic appear in the Real Time Monitor, validating that we have successfully set up automated primary and secondary IPsec tunnels with Cisco SD1. Finally, from a client behind the Cisco SD1 device, you can verify that the traffic is being sent to Zscaler by bringing up a web browser and typing in ip.zscaler.com, where you will see a validation screen showing what Zscaler proxy is processing your traffic. Success!